Hello, I'm Bruce. In this video, I will show you how you can run and develop your C++ project with VS Code. VS Code is Visual Studio Code. So, first of all, you need to install, download and install the app. In this video, I'm running on the Mac OS. So, I need to download the Mac version. and open the app and run it okay i trust this application and at the first step you need to open a working window to store all the setting file into that folder so we need to configure our project one time only so open and new folder i created code project and open it now we are at the working folder and create the simple c++ file below you know, the cpp and as you see that at the first time this code detects that we are working with the c++ project so it prompt us to install the necessary extension for C++. So click install and then move back to our file and include IO stream and using namespace std with the main function and see out lower and try to run it click F5 or click run and start debugging and choose the CLM++ on map Not now. Okay, we have one problem here. Delete it and run again. You see that this time our C++ file is compiled successfully, but we didn't see any output here. Because in the integrated terminal window, we cannot see the output and the application cannot take any input for it so how can we resolve it so open the our working folder and you see that it creates a task.json file for us and we have one task to compile the active file that means whenever we open a c++ file and when this task is run it will compile this file into the binary and run run it. So here we need to create the new run configuration for our project. It, by uh, to do that, we need to select this one, run and debug, and create the launch station file, or you can click this icon and click this one so the launch station file is created and we have this one this configuration inside the json file and we set the external console to true and run again now you can see that we have the output of our application here hello world however when you run again and again it will create a new window again and again so we need to manually close that so actually it can take some time for you to close the windows because we need to debug and run our application many times when we are developing it so to resolve this problem you need to install another extension 
it called the uh, code LLDB because this extension green help you to take the input and see, see the output inside the integrated terminal window here. So to uh, create a new configuration for this extension, move back to the launch.json file and click the add configuration and choose launch. And here you see that we have a new configuration for the LLDB, but we need to update this program setting. So we can copy here and replace it. Okay, move back to the hello.cpp and click run. No, we need to update this one. This one is a new configuration we just created. So it will map this configuration to the run command here. So run it. So you see that the output of our program will be shown into the integrated terminal window. And try to uh, update the code and run again. Oh, we have one problem. We didn't see the latest text we want to print out. We see the previous one. That means this file is not built again. So the our application that runs the old binary file. So to fix this problem, problem, we need to move back to the launch.json and see what we are missing here. So compare this configuration and the previous one. You see that we don't have the pre-launch task. That means if we have this task, if we have this field in the configuration, we when we run this one, it will run this task first to compile our C++ file. So we always have the latest binary before we run the application. Yeah. So now we add this one and try to move back and run again. Yeah. Now our code is updated and try to remove this one and run again. Yeah. We have hello world here. If you want to debug your code, just put a breakpoint here and run the application will stop here for you to debug the code yeah that's all thank you for watching